Hannes, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you. Welcome to London for the film festival. Thank you. Um, so maybe for people who aren't already familiar with your film, you can give us a brief synopsis and introduction, mm -hmm. and particularly about the title, because it's quite unusual, Coca Dee Coca Yeah, yeah. Uh, the title comes from, uh, from a children's song. Uh, it's a French children's song from the beginning, and then, uh, but then it exists in many languages. Uh, it's about uh, a dead rooster that uh, can't sing Kukudi Kukuda. So that's part of the refrain, Kukudi Kukuda, in that song. It's a quite, um, what do you say, uh, childish but still uh, morbid uh, song. Uh, a little bit uh, scary in a way. Uh, and it, it's, um, it has the structure um, of a loop. This song is it's sung in a, in a canon, like repeating itself over and over again, which uh, the film also does in a way. It's, uh, it's like um, the film has this structure of a nightmare that you get stuck. Uh, it's about a relationship, a couple going out to the woods to camp, but they, um, uh, they end up uh, getting trapped there uh, and uh, confront their uh, inner demons, so to speak. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a relationship drama, uh, but it's also a fairy tale for adults, uh, an evil tale. And what gave you the idea for this film? Like, where did the inspiration come from? Uh, it comes from, uh, from relationships that I've been in and uh, witnessed from, uh, from a close distance. And where do you see that it sits in terms of genre? Because maybe it does cut across... Lots yeah, kind of say like horrors, a bit of dark yeah, yeah. comedy there. Like, you know, how do you think it sits? In I mean, house? sometimes it's it's good to uh, to genre define a film because uh, people uh, know what to expect, or uh, it's easier to. Uh, uh, to give them an impression of what to expect, but uh, on the other hand, uh, I think it's really hard to jungle define this film because it has, um, I mean, it has horror elements, but it's uh, also a, a relationship drama. It's a, it's a slapstick comedy, you mm -hmm. could call it that. Uh, it's uh, an animation, uh, and it's uh, it's kind of a it's it's like a dream, a surrealistic dream as well. I think it's really hard uh, to genre define it, but still, I mean, I could call it an evil tale, uh, mm -hmm. or uh, I could call it a horror movie, but uh, I would be partly lying. But sometimes I do it anyway, just mm -hmm. to simplify things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And talk me through your cast. How did you decide on the people you're going to have in your film? How did you work with them? Uh, I mean, the main cast, the couple, uh, Ilva Galone and Leif Edlund, uh, I chose them from the beginning without even casting them because. Uh, I've seen them in other films acting together, uh, and I, um, I mean, I wasn't uh, a very experienced um, uh, director uh, when it comes to directing actors. So I, I wanted someone that that knew each other from before, that had a kind of relationship from before uh, outside of the screen, uh, to simplify for me, to make it easier for me to direct them. Um, and I mean, when I. Uh, when I chose them, uh, part of the dialogue uh, we, uh, we came up with together uh, when rehearsing the script. Uh, so they've been, they've been in there from the beginning. And what was the other question? Oh uh, yeah, just how did you work with them? You, with know, them. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, was there some challenges, were there moments of intensity? Kind yeah, of I mean, uh, everything went really quickly uh, when we, when we uh, started to shoot. Uh, I gave them the role, and very, very uh, close after that, we started to shoot for real. Uh, so it's been uh, in the beginning. It was a little bit of an improvisation, uh, where uh, where we ha where I had a script, but uh, I changed it uh, uh, based on what we found out when we worked together. Um, then there's uh, then there's parts that that is very scripted in the film as well, uh, where uh, where we kind of. We took so many scenes over and over and over again to make it exactly right the way I wanted it. Uh, uh, so it's, it has different. The film has different parts where sometimes I want to have this kind of um, a realistic, uh, lifelike approach, uh, and then we improvised a lot. And then there's parts that's very uh, structured or very formalistic, uh, and then there were less improvisation and more strict, uh, which had a very different um, approach when we worked on it. Mm. And you're saying they're kind of like, you know, it's inspired by a kind of relationships and perhaps deals with grief, you know, like what do you think might, some of the themes might be that come out of the film and what people might take away when they, they leave the cinema? Uh, I mean, 
The theme, it's, it's a lot about grief, about loss, uh, about also about getting lost uh, as a human being, getting lost in your thoughts, uh, trying to cope with life, uh, however difficult it might be. Uh, also, this struggle that can occur in, within relationships when uh, people uh, pull in different directions uh, and you don't get anywhere. When you, uh, when you have, everything has been said and uh, and words have lost its meaning in a way. Uh, I want to portray that um, the kind of passive aggressiveness that could uh, stem from that. Uh, but I mean, hopefully, uh, I will also give some kind of hope to the audience. Uh, I think that's important. Um, it's a very dark film in many ways, but um, uh, I want to show that it's. Um, that it's possible to live with all the, these uh, this uncomfort, and to it's also okay to, to feel bad sometimes. Uh, I mean, there's uh, uh, hopefully uh, I, I will give some confirmation to people that have uh, fallen in the same dark pits that uh, the people in the film uh, has been. And, and finding what, how does it feel to have it here at the London Film Festival? Sorry? How does it feel to have it here at London Film Festival? Uh, I know you had the giant uh, back in 2016. Yeah, and I mean, it's great. I mean, I love the festival. I love uh, the selection of films that they have. Uh, so I think it's, it's a great honor and it's, uh, it's fantastic to be here. I wish I could stay longer myself, but uh, for personal reasons, I just have to go back and forth, unfortunately. Oh, well, thank you so much for sharing all that with us and, and have you enjoy your short time in London. Thank you very much.